Good morning, everybody. It is the uh, second of November. I had two choices for the weather photo of the day here to show you crashing waves out on Lake Michigan, or I think something that took precedence over that. We had our first official snowfall here in Grand Rapids in the area, and I say that because you could actually measure it. They measure two tenths of an inch in GR. This is a little further north up between Houghton Lake and Grayling up in Ross Common. This was sent in by Corinne Genever. Uh, or Geneva, uh, and you could see they had a couple of inches up there and certainly a far more wintry scene up in that location. If you want to connect with me on Facebook, you can do that. It's Kevin Craig Fox 17. You can like that page. If you want to follow me on Instagram or Twitter, uh, that's at Fox Weatherman. So across the lower 48 states, here are the temperatures. Wooden 64 down in Tampa feel good, right? Look at Miami, 77 degrees right now at 644 in the morning. Not so much for us. We will see warmer temperatures as we go on through the week, but it's a chilly week to start right now. As we look at the national scene, you can clearly see what's going on here. High pressure is in control. We do have a northwest flow coming down from Canada, so it's still going to be chilly today. It's chilly right now. We'll only get into the mid, maybe the upper 40s today, and the winds are going to come back. Not as strong as they were yesterday, but it's going to force our feels like temperatures down much of today only in the 30s, even though we make it about 46, 47 degrees for actual daytime high temperatures. I've got nothing on radar right now. Pull out to a wider perspective. There's the flow. You can see it coming down from the northwest, dropping to the south and east. There's some scattered clouds out there, mid and high level clouds, but we're going to get in on a fair amount of sunshine today, but it's that biting wind that's going to make it feel a little bit chilly. Look at some of these numbers. They're into the 20s in White Cloud in Fremont right now, mid 20s there, 27 in Grand Rapids. We're 25 in Belding and Clarksville. Even down to our southern counties, 21 on the north side of Kalamazoo, 27 degrees in Battle Creek. We have mid to upper 20s along and south of the I-94 corridor. So it's a slow start to get going here. And I wanted to show you the wind speeds and gusts. These numbers represent wind speeds in miles per hour. This is at 9 a.m. Not a big deal, although they're starting to ramp up at the immediate lakeshore. Watch the colors change. You see the yellows, the oranges. Uh, come on into play here and these numbers ramp up. We're going to have sustained winds today out of the west southwest at about 15 to 25 miles per hour and that's going to drive our wind chill temperatures or feels like temperatures down to the 30s. Even though the actual air temperature will make about 47 degrees today, it's going to be a mostly sunny to partly cloudy day. It's going to be windy and it is going to be cool. At least we get back in on the sunshine. That will be nice. Lake Michigan forecast, high beach hazard risk, small craft advisory this morning. Those turn to gale warnings again through the afternoon and evening with waves about six to nine feet and a west southwest wind at about 25 to 35 knots. Here's what it looks like on the uh, future track map. Really not much going on. We'll pick up some sunshine out there. We go on into the overnight hours. We're mostly clear. Tomorrow is Tuesday. You won't be able to use the weather as an excuse to not vote because we're not going to have any weather issues tomorrow. It'll be enjoyable out there tomorrow and even a little bit warmer. I think we crack into the mid to upper 50s by that point, and there's a real lack of weather that's going on across the area this week. It looks like it's going to be dry and generally quiet through much of this week, so that certainly is good news for us. In the seven-day forecast, 47 degrees today, windy. We'll see some sunshine tomorrow, 58 degrees there. We catapult ourselves into the low to mid 60s on Wednesday. That trend sticks with us with dry conditions and sunshine. We may be flirting with near record temperatures by the time we get into this next weekend. Here's what's causing it. The upper level pattern. This is where we are right now. These colors on this map represent the air masses. We're in the blue, so that's going to be chilly. It's a little bit below normal, but high pressure will build in as we head on through the week. Look at the greens, the yellows, the oranges come on back in here, and as it does that, we're going to start to tap a stronger south and southwesterly flow, and as it does that, it's going to move our temperatures back into the well into the 60s as we head on through the week. So something to look forward to. We'll talk more forecast details in the 7 o'clock hour. Mike, Deanna?